How's it going guys? My name is Matthew Monteroso. I'm 115 pounds straw weight, a mixed martial artist. My record is four and one, and I'm from San Jose, California. My road to becoming a professional mixed martial artist started at a very young age. I first stepped into the gym when I was six and a half years old. I had a lot of energy, and my parents wanted to direct it in a positive way, so they found a Taekwondo gym. From there, I was just able to continue for about six and a half years until I became a red belt with a black stripe in Taekwondo. I ended up wrestling in high school. My senior year, I went 33 and 3, 30 of those. I got the first two points in takedowns. Right after my wrestling season, I wanted to continue to test my warrior spirit, to continue competing. And so I stumbled upon a fight shop gym that taught jiu-jitsu. There I spent about two, three years learning the fundamentals of jiu-jitsu. My coach at the time was able to tell me about the Camo League. It's an amateur league that runs through all of California and you get to compete in different cities for different amateur belts because I was competing versus a lot of the best fighters out here. I had a two and six record. And even though I trying to rep the 115 pound weight class, I'd go up weight to 125 pounds and I'd test my might with some of the best flyweights out there. When I got out of bed that one day when I was two and six, I knew what my goal was, which was to set out to pave the way for the 115 pound fighters. There's a lot of us out there. We're all underground right now just because the UFC is still in the process of making that weight class happen. Every time UFC drops down to a lighter weight class, they get more exciting fights. My dream, my goal, the reason why I fight is to be able to go out into the community and actually be a positive influence, inspire kids to continue to push hard work and to continue to persevere for their dreams and for what they go out to do. When I realized what I wanted to do, those things shape who I am, my identity, and that's why I persevere. I make it a lot bigger than myself. I'm always the smallest fighter in every single fight and basically take on the hometown fighter. At the end of it, it's it's always been a reward because I have people coming up to me after the fights and they're, they're telling me that I've been able to inspire them because it's not every day that you'll see a, a guy that's 5'1", 115 pounds, go out there and tackle some of the biggest fighters. A good friend of mine now, she's in the UFC. Her name is Cynthia Calvillo. She's got some amazing jiu-jitsu game and now she's 2-0 in the UFC. We used to roll around at the Dark Horse Fight Factory out here in San Jose, California back in the day for hours on end. And I've always believed that it's not about weight to be able to knock somebody out, but it's about kinetically linking your body to the ground and getting that energy, borrowing that energy off of the ground to move all through your body and be able to release that energy where it needs to go. It's been a great learning experience. I've been open to continuing to grow, continuing to learn um, every step of the way, and I think that's helped me accomplish and get to where, I've, where I'm at and now. And your winner, Matthew Montero! Black on black, black, black.